I am the first and the last. I was dead and now alive. Behold, I am alive forever and ever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of, your, of his glory, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews, and I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to the faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there, I do not know, except that in one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preach the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. To God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you shower down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restore the land when it languished, your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O Lord, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens. God, who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us, the Lord. My Lord controls the passageways of death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth.
to be with you always. Alleluia. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorify you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them. And they accept them and truly understand that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Gospel, as it gives a rundown, if you will, of our Lord's life gives us a great standard by which to live, that we live to glorify the Lord. And we glorify the Lord by following the Lord's will and honoring all that the Lord has given to us. Yes, we honor the things of the world as well, those things that we meet or the people that we might come in contact with and all the resources that we might have been given by the Lord, but it's honoring all that in the name of the Lord, and honoring much more to glorify the Lord too, to say, I'm using what God has given to me, as St. Ignatius reminds us, for the greater glory of God. Again, that it is not for our glory, but it is for the glory of God. And it's such a great standard because as we do that, we live in that eternity. That if we say, I'm doing things to glorify myself, that glory only lasts a short time. If I'm doing something to glorify this or that, it only lasts for a short time. But if we say, we're doing this to glorify God, that is something that is eternal, as the Lord is eternal. We're thinking of life not in a temporal way, but in that great way of eternity that we continue to have that great relationship of being able, through the great grace of God, to live our life for the glory of God. And so, my dear sisters and brothers, let's continue to follow that great example of the Lord has set for us. Let's continue to follow on that way as we prepare in the liturgical year to receive the Holy Spirit in Pentecost, knowing that great beginnings of the church, that as the Lord has given us so many gifts, Let's be grateful for them and use them to the best of our ability in order to glorify God. My dear sisters and brothers, with hope in the resurrection and the shadow of the cross, let's offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For those persecuted for their faith in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those deprived of civil rights and legal protection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who comfort the sorrowful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who encourage the downtrodden, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in prison for their beliefs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in sickness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For us, when we share Christ's cross, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for James Jones III, as well as for peace in our world, especially Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who await the full revelation of the Son of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. For the end of abortion in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For these prayers and prayers and silence our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the cross, though we trust in the life to come, we yet live in the shadow of suffering and death. Uphold us in difficulty and stand by us in trial, that we may remain firm in faith and confident in praise as we await the full revelation of Christ, risen and exalted, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will be come for us, the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. My name is Jesus Washburn. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will be calm our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, Judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, we're come with pastoral joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts seem together in the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit like them, like by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring you to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, May we merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. And not in our sins, but in the faith of your truth. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, and the mercy of us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, and the mercy of us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, and the mercy of us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of all I have told you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. <clears throat> we have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou, most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Share this way of prayer to our mother of mothers. Mother of mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity has so sanctified the state of holy motherhood, implore in thee I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in me I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid, to your mother of mothers. Amen. Mother of mothers. 